Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. My beginner creator box from Brambleberry is finally here and I'm so excited to see what's inside of these boxes. I received two bath bomb creator boxes. Let's see what's in the first one. We have some molds here. So this is what you would put your bath bombs in. And yeah, you get a couple of options here and a good amount of them. This kit also included a pack of petal samples. These are so pretty. In the second box, you can find a helpful guide. This little booklet will have instructions on how to get started, all the ingredients and contents of the creator box, and also some other tips and guidelines, including a basic recipe. It also gave me some really great ideas because I've never made a bath bomb before. So that definitely took some of the stress away and made it really easy to want to just jump right in so this kit had all the goodies all the ingredients that you needed were included even some gloves came with it that is so thoughtful we got some droppers and look at this massive bag of pink sea salt this is a very generous amount you also get a generous amount of citric acid and also sodium bicarbonate you need all of this to make bath bombs. Like I said, this is my first time making bath bombs. Um, so yeah, the guidelines really made it easy to kind of decide what I wanted to do. There's more than enough to be as creative as you would like to be and also to make several large batches. I was very, very surprised with how much came in the kit. I was just like, oh, there's more, there's more. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely be very creative with this kit. You also get three choices for your fragrance. You can use a fragrance oil or essential oil. There's also an emulsifier and witch hazel. Like this kit will definitely have you covered. Brambleberry also has over 50 DIY kits to choose from, including the candle and melt and pour beginner creator box. There's also a semi-annual kit sale going on right now until March 19th. So you definitely wanna check the description box down below. There is a link, click on it so you can get your own creator box. To get started, we need a few items from home. Large bowls, a mesh sieve, a whisk or a spoon for mixing, and of course a scale in order to measure out your ingredients. Now we can measure out our dry ingredients. I'm using the basic recipe provided by Brambleberry. The basic recipe calls for 16 ounces of sodium bicarbonate, which is basically baking soda, and also eight ounces of citric acid, I'm adding two to four ounces of the pink sea salt to jazz up my bath bomb, but you can definitely leave that out. It is not a part of the basic recipe. Once you've gathered all of your dry ingredients, you can go ahead and combine them. I'm going to follow the instructions provided by Brambleberry and I'm going to sift my sodium bicarbonate just to get out any clumps. I'm also going to sift through my citric acid until I have a smooth, fine powder. Once you have a smooth, fine powder with no clumps, you can go ahead and add your pink sea salt. Once all of my dry ingredients are combined, I'm just going to mix them together. Now that I'm done with my dry ingredients, I'm going to move on to the wet ingredients. I'm adding one ounce of avocado oil, or you can use the coconut oil from the kit. I'm also adding 0.2 ounces of polysorbate 80. This is the emulsifier. Brambleberry expresses that this will help your tub from being slippery from the oil. I 
I also added 10 milliliters of the rose gold fragrance oil. It smells amazing. I will definitely be using this in some more creations. Mix all of your wet ingredients together and then add it into your dry ingredients. You can start off with a whisk, but I recommend using your hands to really get in there and make sure all of the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients are combined evenly. There is really no way to express to you guys just how amazing the rose gold fragrance oil smells. You really just have to smell it for yourself. I had so much fun just playing in this mixture and it also smelled good. Guys, it is definitely worth a try. Right now the consistency is very fluffy and light. We need to make it a lot more denser and also a little wetter, kind of like wet sand, in order to make it easier to mold and place into our molds. This is where the witch hazel comes into play. Just spritz the mixture with the witch hazel until you get that wet sand type consistency and it's easier to mold the mixture. Now I definitely played around with this a little bit to get the perfect consistency. Um, there's really no way to kind of measure it. I just kind of eyeballed it and when I felt like I had the right consistency, um, that's when I started to place it into the mold. If it's too wet, it will start to react and you don't want that to happen. So be very careful just to spread a, a little bit at a time. Mix, 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 spread some more, mix, mix, mix until you get that wet sand feel. Now you are ready to place your mixture into your mold. Now, when I first did this, I definitely was messing up because I wasn't really packing it in. You really want to make sure you pack it in and pat it down really tightly in there um, before closing it up. Um, before then, it, I was just kind of lightly putting it in there and patting it just a little bit. And some of them had dents in them. So you really want to make sure you're pressing it into the mold uh, to prevent dents um, and so that you have like a smooth surface in your final product. So it is recommended to let these dry overnight or you can let them dry for about three to four hours. Um, for the design, I got a lot of inspiration, like I said, from Bramble Berry. I really love the blue color and I mixed that with the red for some of them. For some of them, I had just red and then some of them, I just really love the pink seesaw all by itself. So I just did a couple variations and that's what I really liked about the kit. You could just really be as creative as you want to be. These are gorgeous by the way and they smell amazing like ooh. The clamshell molds are also just perfect. They're perfect for gifting. Um, you don't even have to take it out of the pack and repackage it right now how it is. You can just place a label on it which I think is so great and convenient. Um, if you want to gift it to a loved one or just want to give it away or just jazz it up for yourself even, you know, they're just beautiful on their own. I'm going to open them up now so I can place it into the water so you guys can get a quick demonstration of how this works. Uh, the bath bomb fizzes up almost immediately. I believe the basic recipe that Brambleberry provided is like the perfect ratio. It is fizzes up amazingly and it sounds great. I've been so into ASMR lately, so it just, I love it. all right you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video make sure you click on the link down below so that you can check out the beginner creator boxes provided by brambleberry there are over 50 different kinds and right now between now and march 19th there is a semi-annual kit sale so you can save almost 20 percent on each of the kits so you can try out all different types of creations like candles if you like to play around with melt and pours to make soap um, you name it they pretty much have it so you definitely want to check it out now once again guys thank you so much for watching please like subscribe hit the notification bell so that you will not miss any of the upcoming videos i would like to thank brambleberry once again thank you so much for sponsoring this video i really really enjoyed this creator box and i am looking forward to trying more and yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.
just want your time. Oh.